temperatures later down in the five-day forecast? Uh, it's coming. It's coming soon. By the end of the weekend, we'll start to feel almost balmy around here compared to this frigid cold. At least the winds are dying down, so that's some good news. But the cold air is still out there, and we have to deal with it tonight and tomorrow. But it doesn't feel quite as brutal out there. Today's high was 29 degrees, low of 15 this morning. Not even close to the records. Those are below zero. And no precip today. We had a nice dry day, but clouds have been rolling in, and those clouds are coming from a storm system to our south. More on that in a moment. The temperatures right now in the thermometer, 21 in Monticello, 27 in Morristown and White Plains, and Belmar, and 29 in Stamford. Look at see the wind gusts are almost non-existent. It's a couple of spots here and there. The city with 17 mile per hour gusts and 21 mile per hour gusts in Stamford, so it's not nearly as bad. And the wind chills aren't as huge a factor. Still, it feels like 13 in Monticello, the teens in Stanford and Islip, and feels like 20 in Newark right now. So it is cold enough. Notice on our next red floor, not much going on in our general vicinity, but to our south, looks like a little bit of light snow is showing up near Tom's River. That's the storm system that's uh, down across the Gulf Coast states and moving through parts of the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley with some snow moving towards Knoxville and into portions of Kentucky. But it's going to stay to our south, although southern New Jersey may get clipped by with a few flurries here and there tonight. It looks like we won't be hit by this one. But the cold air is here. That's not going to change for us for the next 24 hours. There's that storm system just south of the area. Tomorrow morning, not as frigid, 23 at 8 a.m., still with clouds, but we should break out into sunshine by noontime with temperatures in the mid-20s and not quite as much wind until later in the afternoon. But now it's time for today's Wednesday's child. His name is Michael. He's only 11, but he has big dreams to be a chocolate entrepreneur. He showed off his skills at a local candy shop and told us about his other big dream, a forever family of his own. Bruce Springsteen. I think he's ready to be the next boss. I think so, yeah. <laughs> More ways than one. Sweet kid, literally, with a chocolate. Very much so. Bruce.